Hey you guys, I am actually having to reshoot this video. I just did an Instagram live on this topic and like an idiot at the end, I did the one thing I used to do when I first started shooting Instagram videos, which is um, I forgot to hit the save button. And that's one of the most annoying things about doing an Instagram live is if you don't hit that save button at the very end. So for those of you new to this, you cannot access that video. And it's really annoying because one of the things I found is really helpful, you probably have noticed it, my YouTube friends, is um, I'll do an Instagram live, I save it, and then I upload it to YouTube, and then I don't have to do what I'm doing today, which is shoot two separate videos for two separate platforms. It absolutely makes no sense to do that. But for today, I did wanna go ahead and shoot this while it's fresh on my mind. Um, and you might actually get a brief video from me, we'll see. The point that I was driving home uh, on my Instagram Live is dedicated to those of you trying to lose weight, trying to build some muscle, lean out, lose weight, what have you. And if you've been starting to watch my videos, I've just been starting to publish on YouTube again and kind of get back into blogging again, all of that stuff. You've heard me talk about the fact that I've decided just last week to start a 12 week challenge, um, really just more so less for doing a ch an extreme challenge or transformation, but, but more so, you know, I need bumpers. I need to have like a program to follow. I do very well when I have structure and a program to follow. So for me, the ability to kind of have barriers and a program to follow works for me. And I decided to do this 12 week challenge that's within the transform app that I signed up for a couple of months ago. Um, I love the transform app because it has a ridiculous amount of workouts customized to you, your weight, your uh, dietary preferences and your goals. And Chris and Heidi Powell have shot, I remember connecting with them out in Arizona and I met them in person and they were telling me how they were shooting all of these videos for this app. I had no idea the extent to which they've done. They've, they've demonstrated virtually every move that is in every workout possible and they've demonstrated how to do it if you're working out at the gym, if you're working out at home, or if you're working out in like a CrossFit style facility because those are all three very different experiences. So I love that. I love that the macros are customized for you. There's carb cycling in there. To answer your question that a lot of you ask, I am no longer doing intermittent fasting. Um, for me right now, what I found is when I intermittent fast, as much as I love it, I don't tend to get my macros in. I don't tend to eat enough and it tends to be a problem for me. Um, so right now I'm not doing that and it has been tremendously enjoyable to eat breakfast again. I will say that. Um, so there's that, highly recommend the app. I'll put links down below uh, in, the, in the comments or, or in the information below this video. But here's what I wanted to share with you guys because what I have realized as I have started tracking my macros in my fitness pal daily so that I hit, and this is my little cheat sheet I wrote on an envelope. Um, there's carb cycling, so we have high carb days, we have low carb days, and then there's a refeed day. When I started looking, and I was tracking my macros and comparing what I was entering versus what I'm matching here, I was starting to realize how quickly I was reaching my, my fat threshold, th threshold, my fat threshold, reaching the amount, you know, pushing up to the ceiling of fat grams, okay? And then I was always having a slight challenge getting, I would get up to about 100 grams of protein, but I'm supposed to have uh, let's see, 134 most days. Um, on low carb days, I have 146. So on low carb days, I have more protein. On high carb days, I have a little bit less. But I was always kind of getting right around 104 in my protein. I was also getting close to my fat window. And in this plan, and I, I put this as a caveat in, um, in my video, sorry, on Instagram. Please know when I'm telling you what my macros are, this is not something that you can just take and start applying to you. Don't go, oh, well, Kelly's 50, Kelly needs to lose about 10, 15 pounds. This is what she's doing, so I'll do it. Everything, all of our bodies are different. You have to, this is based on the style of training that I'm doing, how much training, how much, how many calories I'm burning, um, my age, my hormone issues, all of that kind of stuff. So don't, when I'm referencing like, hey, on this kind of day, I have 47 grams of fat, that's my, my ceiling. Don't go out and think that that's gonna work for you. A lot of stuff has to be trial and error. My point here is that as I've started tracking this stuff, 
religiously and, and realizing how off I was in thinking, oh, I bet I could have this and I could have this. Um, one of the things I've realized is that even when you know what the healthiest foods are, even when you know and you're buying organic, high quality, non-GMO, paleo friendly foods, if you're buying grass fed butter, um, you're using extra virgin olive oil, you're using the premium organic coconut oil, you're getting organic avocados, pasture fed, or pasture, am I saying that right? Pasture fed um, eggs, right? Grass fed beef. You can do all of that and buy the healthiest stuff but the bottom line is nobody has a go free card when you decide to start buying better groceries. Nobody has a go free for all card when you go paleo. No one has a go free for all card when you eat organic. No one has a go free for all card when you go keto or vegan or whatever. And too many people I think can get into a cycle where I have been for several years where I I, that's the big aha moment I had earlier this year was I was like, I kind of feel like for years I've been in this, you know, I, I get close, I make some big progress, I feel good in my clothes again, I'm feeling awesome, but yet I'm not like feeling legit confident in a bikini awesome. But then I linger, like I get to a certain point and I linger in this 85 to 90% there or 80 to 85% there. And I feel like I'm always there. Can you feel me? Like, are you, can you relate to that? Can you relate? Like, I feel good in my clothes. I don't feel good in all my clothes. I definitely want to lose some weight. But you, when you think back and if you're really honest with yourself, you go, I was talking about this last summer. I was talking about this summer before. Or you might go, oh, I have pockets. Like for those six months, I was really killing it. But then you gained five pounds and then you've, all, you've kind of been there for a while. If that's the case, what I'm finding is food makes a big difference because for a week, I've been in this program for one week and in one week that last week was my first week i'm not proud to say this i only got in three of my workouts for myriad reasons mostly my fault um not happy about it but i only got three of the five workouts in what i did do religiously last week is get my macros in i feel like i had to say that with you know emphasis i got my macros in i recorded things on my fitness pal i feel a difference in my clothes for the better I haven't weighed myself, but I am going to be measuring myself and doing the um, in-body uh, body fat measurement at Lifetime Fitness. Um, my sports bra feels looser when I put it on. My uh, workout pants feel looser here as far as feeling like they're digging in. Of course, they're tight, but they don't feel like they're digging in. I don't feel like I have this. I mean, bottom line is I can absolutely see and feel a difference. My man, when we were standing here at the kitchen counter having our coffee this morning, he was looking at me, he's like, I can see a difference in your arms. You're losing fat, your muscles starting to pop more. That's in a week. By no means did I expect that. But I'm sharing it with you because I think that when someone like me who's been eating healthy, eating organic, eating closely paleo for the most part, I'm not full on paleo at all, but you can be doing all the right things. If you're still eating too much because you're not tracking and you're not aware and you're um, eyeballing it, you could really be so much far over what you think you're eating. And let me put it bluntly, you can gain weight on paleo. You can gain weight on being the purest keto person on the planet. You can gain weight uh, being vegan. You can gain weight, um, eating organic, uh, making sure that everything is, is non-GMO, organic, grass-fed, pasture-raised, I hope I'm saying that right. Um, you can have the purest food in the world, but if you are eating too much healthy fats, too much is too much, that can get your caloric, cal excuse me, caloric load way up there. If you're not training appropriately, you can just be eating too much. The bottom line is, there has to be a caloric window that, that you hit. And I have learned this, I've had this point driven home. There's some really great people that I follow on, um, on Instagram, and I'm gonna mention a couple of them by name. Lori Christine King in Austin is fantastic. She has a lot of information out there specifically tailored towards women and hormones and so on. Um, Cheat Day by Design, that guy is really smart, puts a lot of no nonsense like, here's the deal, stop demonizing food, eat real food, have a plan, track. And then the other guy I like is Easy Wins Mitch. 
Um, and the great thing is, is if I'm, I'm pretty sure all of these people that I've mentioned are going to be on my uh, newly relaunched podcast of The Kelly O Show. Used to be Fitfluential Radio. I'm relaunching it. Um, have some great new guests coming up. But these people are putting out a lot of great content, dispelling a lot of crazy myths that have been out there. And a lot of the myths that have been out there about food is just go paleo and then it doesn't matter. You don't have to track your macros. That's bullshit. You know what a lot of paleo people do? They eat, they don't eat it. They drink bulletproof coffee. My doctor, Dr. Lane Sebring, who's known as the paleo doctor, he doesn't drink bulletproof coffee. Not to say that bulletproof coffee is a bad thing. People say drink bulletproof coffee, which is made, you know, you guys Google it and, and see what you're, what you're saying, what you, if you like it. People will, will say drink bulletproof coffee under the premise that it will fill you up and you won't need to, you know, a lot of people that are fasting will do it, blah, blah, blah. It, bulletproof coffee, I've had it. I've even had it with egg yolks in it. It does not fill me up. And if you're doing it with a certain amount of butter and coconut oil or MCT oil and potentially adding, egg, you could easily have a thousand calories in bulletproof coffee in the morning. And if you're a typical woman who's training pretty hard, you're probably supposed to be eating anywhere on the low end from 15 to 1700 calories up to 2400, 2500 calories. That's a, a completely guesstimate range. But if you have a thousand calories with just two cups of coffee, you could easily blow it and, and get over that by eating healthy foods the rest of the day. People, you can overeat on fruit. You can overeat on vegetables. You can overeat on anything. And, and just start to think, I'll give you an example. On high carb days on my plan, I'm supposed to have 47 grams of fat. And I did the example on Instagram Live of cooking eggs. So three eggs has 15 grams of fat. I just actually made this um, this morning. Three eggs has 15 grams of fat. I added a little bit, probably about an ounce of ground beef, grass-fed ground beef. Um, and then if you cook that with uh, two tablespoons of grass-fed um, butter or olive oil. That's another, I think, 18 to, no, 24, uh, 24 grams of fat. So 24 and 15, that's about 40 grams of healthy fats. So it's healthy fats. And then I added guacamole on top. So that's gonna add more healthy fats. That's a fantastic paleo-focused meal. But here's the deal. It's a lot of healthy fat, okay? Now maybe some of you could tailor that down and instead of doing two tablespoons of butter, do one. Those are the things that you need to track and tighten up if you're not losing fat. That's the point. Don't, if, if, you, are, if you are winging it with your food and you're still eating sushi, healthy food, all organic, paleo, whatever, and you're stuck, you probably need to start tracking your macros, whether it's in a notebook or my fitness pal, because I guarantee you, you are winging it and eyeballing it and you're eating way more than you think in some area and you are not in a caloric deficit in order to be able to lose the weight. I'm not a dietitian, I'm not a trainer, I'm not a doctor, I just hang out with a lot of these people and I've learned and I'm learning it myself. Because if I saw a difference, if my body started going, <sighs> and letting go of some fat after a week to, to 10 days of tracking and really being on point with my macros, that was my missing link. That's my big missing link. I've never had a problem working out. I urge you to understand nothing is a free pass. Just going keto or paleo or, or eating organic or shopping at Whole Foods or having your food delivered to you, you still have to count calories, you still gotta count macros, you still gotta make sure you're fitting in to a concise, window of food that works for your body to help you lose fat. Hopefully that makes sense. I'm gonna do a whole blog post on this over at kellyalexa.com. Make sure in the comments below, check out my link, head on over there, make sure you're subscribed. I've got a whole bunch of good stuff coming up. Make sure you're following me on Instagram. Also follow the Kelly O Show on Instagram. As I said, I am relaunching my podcast, relaunching uh, the corresponding Kelly O Show, the Kelly O Show platforms. So look for that. And I'm gonna have some fantastic people on. So I'd also love to hear from you after watching this video. Let me know in the comments below, like, did this hit home with you? Did this help you? Did you have some holy shit aha moments listening to this? If so, let me know what your questions are. Let me know what your frustrations are. Do you have no idea how to start counting macros? Do you have no idea what caloric window you should be in? Do you have no idea how to figure out your BMI? Do you have no idea uh, how to get a good workout program? Do you have questions on the Transform app? Whatever you have, let me know in the comments below or email me, kelly at kellyalexa.com. I hope you guys have a really good rest of the week. I hope this video was helpful and I will see you soon. Thanks so much.